Who's ready to see what damage I did for Black Friday? <laughs> so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Black Friday haul. I'm going to share with you pretty much everything that I got. I did pick up some presents that I'm not going to share for others. And I'm actually going to do a little bit of a fashion haul as well. I will have timestamps below if you're not interested in the clothes. The makeup's going to be first, then the clothes will be in the second half. But yeah, we got some deals. I shared a lot with you guys. And these are the ones that I picked out for myself. So yeah, if you want to see what I got, then just keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so the first order, it wasn't the very first order that I made, but this was probably the best Black Friday sale where I got the best stinking deals was from the Huda Beauty Black Friday sale. Theirs was like up to 80% off. Now, not everything was 80% off, but there were some good things that I got for literally 80% off. Let me pull these out. The uh, first thing that I picked up for myself is the Rose Gold Palette Remastered. I got this for around $20. And believe it or not, I actually don't have this palette. This is in my mom's collection. So if I've ever showed it to you in the past, I stole it from my mom. But I got one for myself. And I think that this one is absolutely beautiful. This was a remastered or a remake of their very first palette that came out. And I have the very first palette. No, I don't. I decluttered it. But anyways, I didn't have this palette. And I thought it would be kind of cool to get a new fresh one. And I think it is so pretty. And it was only $20. I mean, the price of these are $65. The fact that I got this for $20, I didn't have it in my collection. So I was like, um, I need that. So I got it. <laughs> so here we are. So this is the first palette that I picked up for myself. It's not as exciting because it's not new. My mom owns it. So I feel like I've owned it before. Anyways, I'm excited about this one. It is stunning. This was a crazy deal. So luckily I saw that the sale happened early. So I got this before it sold out. But this is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. $14, you guys. I own this palette, but I didn't care. I was buying it for $14. Mine is kind of dried out. It's old. That's one thing I will say about Huda palettes mm. is that the lifespan on them isn't the longest. So mine's dried out, but I do love the color story. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get a new one that's not dried out for $14. Why would I not? Um, I'm trying to get this open though, and I'm struggling. This is like an unboxing, you guys. I haven't really truly gone through or opened everything. Normally, I like play with this stuff first. I swatch it so I can tell you a little bit about the products, but this is a true unboxing because honestly, Jose's parents are coming today, so <laughs> I had to film this pretty quickly. And I will not be filming for probably like a week. So I had to get this filmed. So anyways, this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it before. It's a beautiful palette. I absolutely love this color story. You can tell it's because there's purples in here, but there's a lot of other gorgeous tones in here. So it's unfortunate that the lifespan isn't the longest on this, but for $14, I couldn't say no. I literally bought one for one of you guys as well. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a giveaway in this video. Stay tuned till the end and for all of the details of that. But yes, you're lucky you landed on this one because we will have a giveaway. This will be one of the gifts. I also picked this up. You guys, there's a story for this. So this is the Kayali Vanilla 28 perfume. It was still kind of expensive with it being like a newer, more popular item. It was 30% off, so it wasn't a spectacular deal. But if you have been watching my videos, I ordered a rollerball from Kayali from the Sephora VIB sale, and the vanilla was just the best vanilla scent I've ever smelled, so this smells fantastic. So I got this for my mom, because she loved it, for Christmas. The woman bought it for herself, so she was like, oh, I just bought this for myself. I like the way it smells on you. And I was like, I got that for you for Christmas. So you know what? Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to keep this for myself because when I run out of my rollerball, I was going to pick up a bottle anyway. So at least I got it for 30% off. Let's see what it looks like since I ain't giving it to nobody anymore. And don't you hate when that happens? My mom's the kind of woman and I'm this kind of person as well. But if she's, if there's something that she wants or she likes, she just buys it for herself. I'm like that as well. But sometimes in circumstances like this, it's hard because I hear her go, oh, I like it. So I buy it for her and then she buys it for herself. Ooh, this is pretty. I've never owned a full size of Kaoli before. 
Yay! I don't buy perfumes for myself too often. Honestly, I'm like cheap when it comes to perfumes and I stick to my tried and trues really. I don't have the largest perfume collection, mostly because they're too expensive, the good perfumes. So this is nice. This is one of my newer edition, higher end perfumes. I'm excited. Oh, but the notes on this, by the way, are Vanilla Orchid, Tonka Absolute, Brown Sugar, Amber Woods, and Musk, and it's my favorite vanilla scent if you like vanillas. It's not like a vanilla scent I've ever smelled before, so it's unique, but it's still delicious cakey vanilla. I like scents, the same scent that teenagers like. So this is like a teenage vanilla, but a little bit more mature. <laughs> Okay, and then the lashes on sale were nuts. These were the best deals in my opinion besides the $14 Desert Dusk palettes. I got all of these lashes for around three to four dollars and the original price of these lashes are like $18. I stocked up on the good ones that I saw. I actually picked up three of Olivia, but I gave one to my mom because she wanted them. So these were at four dollars. They look quite pretty. I've never tried them before. I like the Huda lashes. I don't think they're the best on the market, but for $4, I certainly will take them. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. <laughs> they look a little different than they did online, <laughs> but this is Scarlet. This one looks quite dramatic. This one looks very dramatic. This is Lottie, and I guess it's their Luxe Silk Collection. Ooh, that one could be pretty, but I do have smaller eyes, so I struggle to carry off certain lashes, so we'll see. This looked interesting. This is Harmony. I don't know about these. We are experimenting. They were dirt cheap. And then I also picked up Alyssa, which these are longer than I thought. They're individuals. I might put this on a giveaway now, actually. I think I just went on a rampage and added this to my cart, but truthfully, I don't use individuals too much. So I think I might give these away to one of you guys. But anyways, that's what I got from Huda Beauty. Steals of deals, you guys. If you missed out on that sale, honestly, I feel sorry for you because it was the best deal. <sighs> Oh my gosh, the best thing happened, you guys. So I've been wanting to order from Glam Light for a very long time. When the Michaela palette came out, I wanted it, I thought it was gorgeous, but I just knew it wasn't something that I was going to need, so I passed on it. Then the wine collection came out, or mimosas, or whatever that collection was. <laughs> the ha happy hour, I don't know, this one, right, came out. And then that one, I was really like clenching my teeth, like I, I need to have that, but I passed because I've never tried Glam Light on my channel and you know, they're not one of the staple brands that I covered, so it would be more so of a personal purchase as opposed to a business purchase, so I was holding off. And I literally had my cart filled a few weeks ago with the Michaela palette and a few of the wine palettes, but it was just, it was too, I didn't wanna spend $200 on eyeshadow palettes when I have what I have already, so it just sat there in the cart. 40% off, so that is when I pulled the trigger. I am so happy that I waited, and the reason that I waited and didn't pick it up on that initial purchase was because it was expensive and I needed to go upstairs and get my credit card to, <laughs> to actually purchase it and I was too lazy and I was like, maybe this is a sign, they don't take PayPal. But when the 40% off, I was like, that's a huge difference. It's really great when moments like that happen of products that you knew you were gonna eventually end up anyways with and then there's a huge discount. So 40% off was great. So I got all of the palettes that I wanted and more. I've never tried the Glam Light formula and since I haven't swatched any of these yet I can't tell you but I will swatch these for the video as you can see that I'm doing so I'm gonna put a note right here as to how I thought they swatched it'll be a bit probably after Jose's parents leave before I play with these first of all I had to get the Michaela palette I'm not really into makeup TikTok I like animal videos on TikTok to be honest but this palette I thought was gorgeous so I do follow her but I'm not like a regular follower she doesn't show up on my timeline or my feed very often but this packaging is so pretty I feel like this is something that I would design if I had to create a palette same thing with this color story looks stunning all these purples in here you know I love it all these neutrals up here the greens the blues I mean this is just a perfectly executed palette in my opinion and uh, I wanted this so bad but I held off because because I just knew I didn't need it, but for 40% off, I took advantage of that. So I'm really excited about this. This looks like it's going to be so much fun. So I did pick this one up. And in my original basket that I was telling you guys about a few weeks ago, I was really struggling deciding which palettes I wanted to pick up from this 
happy hour collection but you guys knew i wanted the wine palette but it was the other ones that i was like because there was only one palette that i felt like i would never use but it still looked pretty and so it was either like i couldn't pick out just one i was in an all or nothing kind of mood but of course with the 40 percent off i got the entire collection i'm so late on these but they just look fabulous i mean first of all <laughs> i don't even drink that's the funny part i'm more into the palettes i don't even care what the theme is but this is so cute i mean i'm sure you've seen all of these by now how do you open these this is the palette that i didn't want like i kind of wanted it just because i liked the other three a lot so i was like okay well might as well get this one this is the one that i didn't feel the need to have the margarita palette let's see what am i supposed to do with these covers do i keep them like, what am i supposed to do with this i don't even drink but i want to keep them <laughs> I, what are you doing with these if you bought them? Um, so here's the margarita palette. So cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've never tried glam light before, like I said. So I'm really excited with the direction that they're going. You know, I've seen glam light really evolve over the years. And I was never interested in their food themed collections. I'm not gonna lie. Like a pizza palette just didn't appeal to me. See, I felt like I didn't need this. I didn't really want it, but it looked so pretty so i did kind of want it i would not have paid full price for this let me just say that but for 40 percent off these shimmers look in let me swatch one let's just Ooh. okay this was my first touch ever okay well this green seemed oh these seem good let's see okay i mean the price is right for these these shimmers seem pretty anyways that was the margarita let's get into these other ones it's gonna take a minute for me to open these okay so we have the dirty martini this is one that i needed to have if i was going to order it and here's what the palette looks like Ooh, okay this my friends is a green palette <gasps> if the quality on this is good i think this might be my favorite green palette ever I think the curation of colors are perfect. This looks fun. And with green being such a trendy color right now, oh, this is making me feel some type of way. I really am just a true makeup lover, you guys. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Okay, this is this is the one that kind of threw me off because I know I didn't need it, but I really, really wanted it. Like, in my original order, I was going to get the wine palette and the dirty martini palette. But this chocolate martini i felt like i couldn't leave it i really wanted it too let me open this because y'all know i don't need a neutral palette but y'all know i couldn't pass on this palette like look at this how could i okay <laughs> this is so pretty too i mean now looking at it i think i could have passed on this palette but i'm happy that circumstances worked out this way because I'm gonna have fun with this. I think these might be my most exciting purchase. These are truly just makeup items that I really, really wanted. Okay. And then lastly, when the wine palette first launched, you all told me you already knew I was eyeing it. And I totally, totally was. Love this. So cute. Ah! I'm crying. It's so beautiful. And these are tones of purples that a lot of brands won't touch because they're so hard to formulate. So I'm really excited to see, you know how these are we'll see i'm really excited for my first experience with glam light like i said i'm so impressed with the direction that the brand is going at first they didn't catch my eye but now with every launch that they're having i'm becoming more and more interested so maybe this is a new brand that i need to add to my arsenal um it's an indie brand so i'm always very happy to support them and i mean Congratulations on their success. I can see that they are growing bigger and they are expanding and that they are listening to feedback. So I'm really excited about those. That's the order that invokes the most excitement in me for sure, just because I really wanted these. It didn't have anything to do with my channel. I just wanted these. Okay, and then I do have some stuff from e.l.f. They sent this to me, but I figured I'd show you because they did have a pretty good Black Friday sale. But I did pick these out myself because I thought they would make good gifts and giveaway items. I'm gonna throw a number of these into a giveaway for you guys. Elf really does create some great products for a great price. So I specifically got this one to put in a giveaway for you guys because I've been loving the Elf Holy Hydration skincare line. Super affordable. From what I've been told, really good ingredients. Really works. I mean, I have my Holy Hydration cream on my desk 
desk right now because I use it so frequently. So these will be going in the giveaway already because I wanna bless y'all with trying this collection. How cute is this? I think I got this for my cousin because I think she would like these. This is the Epic Frost Liquid Shadow Set. I like these e.l.f. glitters, you know, they're so affordable and they really add a little extra oomph to your eye look. So this is a great set. No matter what, I feel like somebody's going to love this just because who doesn't love a little pop of glitter, you know? So I'm excited about this set. It's one of my favorite e.l.f. sets and it's a really good product. I also got some items from their bite-sized sets. We have a cream and sugar quad and a spiced apple. How cute! Base duo. These are really cheap. They're really good quality for the price. And then a bite-sized lip balm in mint. So all of these are a cute little bite-sized set. Oh, this is so good. The Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. We have a putty bronzer. This is also really nice. And then a putty blush. I'm not as big of a fan of the putty blush personally, but I believe these three came in a set. So those are gonna be nice. But the primer and the bronzer, really good. We also have a putty blush brush and e.l.f. brushes. Super good if you're on a budget. So this might be interesting. I might wanna keep those to see how it works with the putty stuff that I have. I think there was another one in the bite size set. Yes. So there's also the bite size brow palette, which I love this. I have one in my collection. I use it all the time. I don't really like the waxes, but the powders are really good. But anyways, these are just some sets that I picked up for giveaways, giving to my family, stocking stuffers. Elf stuff is really good for stocking stuffers. So we have that stuff as well. I have one more order. And the reason why my Black Friday haul was a little bit more delayed is because I've been waiting for this order to come and it hasn't come. <laughs> but since Jose's parents are coming today, I'm just gonna tell you what I got and insert pictures. It's actually supposed to be delivered this evening. But the last makeup or beauty order that I made is from Hourglass. They they had 20% off, which was pretty good. I mean, it's not the highest percentage that we've seen, but for Hourglass, it was really good. So here's what I picked up. The Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. So for the 20% off, I did save $12. And I love the Metallic Strobe formula, but I don't have too many of this formula in my own personal collection. This palette is actually in my mom's collection and amid our divorce of me moving out, <laughs> I wanted one of these for myself just because I really love the formula. So I have that on the way. And I've always wanted to try the lip gloss formula from Hourglass. So I do have an Unreal High Shine Voluminizing Lip Gloss on the way in the shade Pink Nude because I'm a big pinky nude lip person. So I'm excited to try that. And I love their Ultra Slim lipsticks. I, I love the way that they feel in my hand and I love the formula of them as well. And I have small lips, so since they're slim, <laughs> it's a perfect shape for my lips. I picked up the shade I Love and this is a light cool pink and I saved $7.20 by the way with the discount. I also saved $6 on the lip gloss discount. And then the last item that I picked up from Hourglass, I just wanted to try it. I've never tried this formula. I got a Vanish blush stick in the shade Loyal, which is supposed to be like a rosewood color. So I'm excited. I just, I don't know what came over me. I just felt like I wanted to try some hourglass formulas. I feel like I missed out on and there was a couple things that I just genuinely wanted. Like I said, 20% off based on other sales that we're seeing. You know, it wasn't 40% off like I'm light by any means. But hourglass is expensive. They don't really have too many sales. They do have their friends and family sale, which is 25% off, which is probably the best deal that you can get off of hourglass. But with the 20% off, I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna make an order of some stuff that I wanted. So that's what I got from Hourglass. All right, guys, so those were all of my makeup orders. If you're only here for the makeup, you can head out. But I did wanna show you the clothes that I picked up for Black Friday, if you were interested. I was actually more interested in the clothing Black Friday sales compared to the makeup Black Friday sales because y'all, I need to upgrade my wardrobe. I am wearing clothes from college and high school still. Just because these last few years, I've been a PE teacher, so I didn't really have a need to update my wardrobe. Now that I'm no longer teaching and I'm in the beauty space, I needed to upgrade some stuff. So I picked up some jeans from American Eagle and a lot of clothes from Abercrombie & Fitch. Just for reference, I am only like 4'10", 4'11". <laughs> I am just under 5 foot. I weigh about 115 pounds. 
So if you are petite like me, you definitely need to tune in. But yeah, let me show you what I did get. So we'll start off with American Eagle. In the last few years, all through high school and college, I got all of my jeans from American Eagle because at least when I was in high school, they were the only brand that sold a short length. So I've always stuck by American Eagle because of that. Let me show you what I got. I have a lot of skinny jeans, you know, I'm old. <laughs> I'm not like the tees, but I have been looking for, you know, more baggy jeans, more trendy jeans to wear. So I started off at American Eagle. So the first pair that I got is a mom straight jean in cool torn, and I got the shade too short. So on my height, the short is the perfect length from American Eagle. And all of the American Eagle jeans that I have for you are in the shade too short. The fact that I'm calling the sizes shades. <laughs> Could I be more of a fashion noob? So this mom straight jean, I love these. I love the wash. They do have some rips in them, which I don't love the rips, but I feel like every style of jeans have rips. There is no escaping it. <laughs> uh, but these fit really, really nice. They are that more trendy mom straight jean instead of a skinny jean and they're super duper comfortable. So I really like these and they weren't too expensive, especially with the sale. I believe American Eagle was having like 30% off. And then I also got another pair of the same style, the mom straight jean. This is a little bit of like a lighter, not acid wash, but you can see it's a little bit lighter. This one is also really cute. I like the fit of the first one that I showed you a little bit better, but these are also very flattering. American Eagle has always been very flattering to my body, and the thing that I love about American Eagle is you can't get any comfier than a pair of American Eagle jeans. They're very, very stretchy, so you can do anything in them. I'm very happy with the fit of those, so if you've been looking for some good straight jeans, you know, you're a skinny jean person, you're not sure if you're ready to branch out, I think those are a good place to start. I think these last two I am going to return, but I figured I'd show you. So I got uh, the style 90s boyfriend. Uh, I don't like these. <laughs> they are very, very ripped. They're a bit long on me. They're way too baggy, especially in the crotch area. I cannot stand when my crotch... Let me zoom out a little bit. I don't know how to do fashion hauls. Anyways, especially in the crotch area, I noticed that they are a little bit looser. I mean, you can see in the demo how much bigger they are. So I think I'm going to return these. And then the last style that I got, they didn't have it in a short. So I had to get it in a regular length, but these didn't have any rips in them. So I was like, I don't care, I wanna get them. And the style of these are a relaxed mom jean. These again are like, they're too baggy for me. I feel like they don't look flattering on me. They add extra weight. I love the color and I like that there's no rips in them, but I'm not ready for this style. I don't really like it on me yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future, but I'm not there yet. I like a good straight jean. I like it a little tighter around the thighs. Anyways, that's all I got from American Eagle. Just jeans because I love American Eagle jeans. But my favorite place to shop for clothes, especially if you are petite like me, Abercrombie & Fitch. They have made a comeback, but I have never stopped shopping there. I actually worked at Hollister, which is the same company in high school, but I find that Abercrombie & Fitch is the best for petite people. All of their items have like adjustable straps and stuff for somebody petite like me and they also offer like shorts and I think extra shorts. So I did get some jeans to compare them to American Eagle because like I said, I've worn American Eagle for forever. Interesting, I'll tell you. And then I also picked up some other stuff. Even the dress I'm wearing, this is not part of the haul, but I did get this dress from Abercrombie and, and dresses are my favorite thing to get from Abercrombie because they offer short. All their dresses Dresses are the perfect length. Normally, they go below my knees, which is not very flattering, I find, on myself. Love Abercrombie. Let me get this stuff. So let's start off with my jeans experience. The jeans at Abercrombie are significantly more expensive than American Eagle, but I just wanted to see it. I'm an adult now. I have my own money. So I was like, let me splurge a little bit on jeans. You know, I'm not spending more than $100 on jeans, but Abercrombie was 30% off site-wide. So... <laughs> Uh, there was a pair that I'm returning. It's downstairs. I'm not going to grab it. I didn't like it. But each jean, I want to say, was about $80. So the first style that I tried and bought was the 90s straight ultra high rise. I got mine in a size 
27 short length or a four short is how they also have it labeled. But I got a pair of white jeans because I didn't have a pair of white jeans. And I really like these. So these are almost like a, I don't know, I feel like they're a little bit more wider as opposed to straight like the American Eagle. But I do like the fit of this around my belly and my waist. I feel like it really flattens out the area. So here's the difference between American Eagle and Abercrombie jeans. American Eagle much more stretchy, a little bit thinner. The Abercrombie definitely has less stretch to it and it's a little bit thicker, making it a little less comfortable, but I feel like that holds everything in. So they feel more expensive. I feel like these are gonna last longer. I really like these. I will say the short length in Abercrombie is a little bit longer. So I do feel like I need these hemmed like a half an inch shorter to be perfect on me. I think they're very nice. I wasn't sure if I was going to like Abercrombie jeans, but I really like them. They're different than American Eagle, but in some ways I think they're more flattering. You can't beat the comfort of American Eagle. <laughs> the next pair that I have is the 90s relaxed jean, all high rise, because I find that's flattering to make my legs look longer. Same size. And these are really cute. I don't love the rips at the knees, but they only sell ripped jeans, okay? Because these are like places for teenagers. <laughs> but these are also super duper nice. Again, I feel like they're almost more flared as opposed to a straight jean, like the ones I got at American Eagle. Love the wash of this. Again, a bit long, but really nice, very flattering. Okay, this is the last pair, and I think this is my favorite pair in terms of how it looks of all that I've gotten. So this style is the ankle straight. So I guess I love the straight style. That's my new thing. But this is so perfect. So since it's an ankle jean, it's literally the perfect length on me. It's super flattering, you guys. It doesn't flare out too much like the other two jeans, which I like how they flared. But I still prefer that straighter style. Maybe I'm not ready for a complete big wide flare. But these are super flattering. They're like a tiny bit tight on my thighs, but I feel like that makes my thighs look a bit thinner. I don't know. I love these. You can see them in the demo. They look really good. So lots of jeans. I really felt like I needed to upgrade my jeans because I was wearing jeans from high school and <laughs> that needed to change. I did get some other things though from Abercrombie, not just jeans. You've seen it from the demo, but this is one of my favorite things that I got. This white blouse. It has like very like faux boning that's really flattering. I'm sad though, when I first tried it on, I got makeup on the back. So how do you get makeup out of white clothes? I've tried makeup remover, that doesn't work, so what do I need to use? Please and thank you. But anyways, this is my style of blouse. I mean, you see me wearing blouses kind of like this a lot. The fit is perfect. I got everything else in a small, by the way. So this is a size small. I love it. This is one of my favorite tops that I picked up. Highly recommend. I also got kind of a black version of it. It doesn't have the puff sleeves, but it does have that like kind of boning, really flattering. And do you guys see this? This is why I like Abercrombie because these buttons allow you to adjust the straps. So originally my, my friends were showing and I was like, oh no, but then I noticed they had this button. So now the straps are a good length. This is super flattering. Again, really cute with just jeans, dresses them up. And then I also picked up this black sheer shirt. Not completely my style, but I don't know, we'll see. Honestly, I was thinking since I'm moving down to Florida, this is like a good Florida winter outfit. I don't know. I guess I'll see when I get there, but I envision this with like a pair of cute jeans and like a very tight, cute black tank top and this over top. I'm experimenting with this one. I'm not sure yet. I also got this bodysuit. It's a little complicated, but I thought it would be super cute for videos. That's why I got it. I didn't necessarily love it, but I knew it would look so good on camera. And it's kind of like a halter top, I suppose. It's like a sweater material, so it's a bit thicker for the winter. And okay, so it's more than just this. Here's like the top strappy parts. And these top strappy parts are adjustable, but I did come into a problem. I asked my husband to tighten the straps for me, but then I couldn't get it off. 
especially because I was wearing a full face of makeup. So don't make the straps too tight because then this is hard to get off. But it's super duper cute. Once you have it on for the day, adorable. And then I got two dresses. So this first one, it's very, very summery, but I just thought it was so cute. This is like a skort situation. So your undies aren't going to be seen. Super cute, super comfortable, easy to throw on. I love the exposed back here. Yeah, and it is super duper cute. This is definitely something that I bought for Florida and I regret nothing. Again, I believe they sold this in petite, right? Yes, they sold this in petite, so it's the perfect length on me. And then the last dress that I got, again, in a small petite, I believe they call this like the traveler's dress, but it is so cute and casual. It's like a little tennis dress. I feel like I could have worn something like this when I was teaching, but I did not dress cute enough. Anyways, the perfect length, very flattering. And I like that it's super casual. Like you can wear this with tennis shoes or you can dress it up. Really comfortable, kind of a thoughtless outfit. But I thought it was super cute, easy to throw on, a great airport outfit, something like that. Anyways, Abercrombie is killing it. They literally have my favorite clothes ever and the best fit, the most flattering on my body while still not being super duper expensive, especially if you wait for a sale. All right, you guys, there we have it. That was my Black Friday haul, everything I picked up on sale. Let me know what you thought of this video. Did you like the fashion portion? I'm thinking as I'm building my closet, figuring out my adult style, maybe incorporating more fashion into like vlogs or hauls. I'm not gonna become a fashion channel. I'm not fashionable enough <laughs> for that, but just showing you the pieces that I picked up because I do I do like to dress cute. That being said, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel to get notified because you know I am posting every single day for Vlogmas. So thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one. Wait, 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 don't go yet. I almost forgot to talk about this giveaway. <laughs> so there will be a giveaway for this video. You're gonna win the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette along with some other things that I have that I'm throwing in. But the Huda Beauty is the main attraction and the e.l.f. The skincare stuff that I really like. Love. Here is how you enter. This is open internationally. If you don't know, I am doing giveaways randomly throughout Vlogmas. You just don't know what videos they are, but I do. Here's how you enter. It is open internationally. The ending date of this giveaway is going to be exactly one week after this video is posted. I will have that date down in the description box and all of the details laid out for you in a way that makes sense. In order to win, you must be following me on YouTube. Subscribe. And you must be following me on Instagram, which is Morgan Turner Makeup. Then you're gonna need to comment on this video and tell me something that you picked up from Black Friday or what was your favorite Black Friday sale that you were eyeing. Also in your comment, make sure you give me your Instagram handle because that is how I'm going to contact the winner. If you don't have Instagram, you can give me your email, that is fine. I do prefer Instagram personally. So again, it's ending one week from the date that this video is posted, open internationally. You must be following me on YouTube and Instagram. You're you're commenting something that you bought for Black Friday or one of the favorite Black Friday sales that you noticed, your Instagram handle, or some way for me to get into contact with you. All that will be linked in the description box to give you all of the details in case I missed anything. Okay, yeah, seriously, this video is over now. <laughs>